Alright, we come effing driven. Hmm, to find a good spot on the hill. It's always a good idea. Yeah, top the hill is better. Alright, some uh, pro tips how to get effing driven. Um, yeah, it's actually uh, super simple. I mean, <laughs> like when I say simple, I mean straightforward. The integration might be a little bit trickier, more difficult for some peeps, but uh, overall, I think the, the sentiment is uh, quite easy. So, super easy, guys. Intermittent fasting, no breakfast, no lunch, only one massive dinner. Uh, get your test up, five to six pounds of meat. <laughs> if my love Croton was able to consume, how much do you consume? What? Yeah, I I 20 pounds of meat a day. Obviously, this is kind of made up, but uh, it's just like a, a, a tall tale. However, I think the overall sentiment is, is funny and good, right? Um, in the end, I think uh, it's kind of a interesting thought because yeah. I'd, I actually have a theory. I think, uh, I mean, my civilizing mission is uh, actually the issue that we're having is uh, yeah. <laughs> sure got some uh team stop uh Look. Only thing that these bird scooters are good for is for mounting your GoPro to flex. So yes, yeah, so I have a funny thought that the reason why so many peoples in modern day society is so uh, miserable is that they just lack, oh, another rare spot. Why people are so miserable? They lack time directly in the sun. What is Eric Kim? Eric Kim's a bodybuilder. <laughs> All right, demigod goals. Okay, so. Some basic thoughts include, so it's kind of a, I mean, there's, there's certainly no perfect way to train, but uh, there are some ways that we could save time or streamline things or whatever. So some general thoughts include uh, 
spend maximum amount of time in the direct sun, irregardless of situation. So get your ass outside, take off your shirt, whatevs. And the reason why I think this is such a good strategy is that vitamin D's, I don't even think it's a vitamin D, it's a, I think it's just sun exposure. Like people are so stupid, they're like, oh, you need to go to sun because your body got produced vitamin D. I'm like, bro, yeah, it ain't vitamin D, it's a, it's a something else. Um, and so the reason why I think that this is so critical is that, I don't know, I think uh, at least for myself, when I'm directly exposed to the direct sun, it's just like kind of like for me the ultimate stimulus it just kind of wakes my ass up and uh gets me more hype give me more energies and i don't know like from a productivity perspective and we all just trying to become more productive and to get more energy right so just maximum time outside uh, another thought is a <laughs> bear lifestyle it's like <laughs> apparently bears walk uh I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna make it up at this point. So let's say bears walk 50 miles a day and I don't know, it's just, uh, yeah, look at this traffic, right? Um, yeah, I think the greatest tragedy in modern day life is being relegated or being forced to be in the shade when the sun's nice outside even a, a thing too it's just like the reason why i hated being in the office so much was the weather's nice outside being forced to be stuck indoors all day even if you're paid like 10 million dollars a year it doesn't seem like it's worth it to me like even if you gave me the option of like working some sort of salary man job stuck in the office all day you paid me twenty or fifty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, I would say uh, I would say no. Um, better to be a Bitcoin billionaire, crypto speculator, outdoors, speculating AI. AI speculation is a good idea. Actually, uh, like, I wonder if I'm actually the only one who thinks this. Is that like maybe the only one who thinks that? In fact, I think. Uh, AI is highly underrated and under un, ununderstood and underappreciated. Like, do you, like <laughs> Chat GPT, Dolly, Dolly Three, Chat GPT Four. Just paid the twenty bucks um, for the, the Plus membership. It's like literally the greatest invention known to man, at least in my lifetime. And I was born in '88. I'm 35 years old right now. Like certain good inventions obviously the internet when i was a kid 38.8k modem AOL 3.0 AOL, AOL 3.0 dial up modems yeah this is good um yeah the ai is the few it's not gonna be vr because the problem with vr is i think anyone who does vr the big problem is that essential, I mean, <laughs> this is a thought, it's like, if you do VR, like let's say you have the new Apple VR thing or MetaQuest whatever's, are you gonna do it outside in the direct sun or are you gonna do it indoor? Like anything indoors, my thought is, uh, yeah, no, no, no bueno. Um, so yeah, being, being outdoors, maximum time outdoors. Seems like a, a good idea. Um, even like some suggestions for Elon. It's like, yo, bro, I need to go a lot of meetings. Just, just, just do on your iPhone Pro. Just do on walking meet. Like, use the most <laughs> important human being on planet Earth. You know how to sit in a room with a board investor. Just, just do it outside. Like, um, even my, uh, even my friend Chris doing some sort of like important zoom call meetings everyone's stuck in a loser office and then he's the only one who's able to flex and just go on a walk through the park in the wild outdoors um is nice uh and yeah and i actually wonder if the reason why like 
being chased. People's like, you got a photo. No, I just do it all. So the reason why I think street photography is so good, so great, good for the the soul, physiology, etc., is, is it just allows us to spend more time outside, ideally in the direct sun. If the weather's too not good, just put on some black, put on a hat, cover up, whatevs. But still, like my thought is, it's better to be out and about in the direct sun. Assuming you have protective covering than to be not <laughs> like my thought is we got to do the dune like it's like everyone's vision of the future was kind of like Blade Runner cyberpunk no I think it's it's more dune it's like kind of like these uh guys in the desert covered up the front from end da, 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 the was, was that that thing, the sand thing that they drink, whatever? I mean, to me, it's just black coffee. 100% fine Robusta, Eric and Momokase coffee is the, the key. It's like, you can't buy happiness, but you buy good coffee is my, my thought. Um, yeah. Also another random thought, some uh, fun facts I learned. If you super, 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 super rich and successful more money than God, it looks like the best car is like, some sort of like BMW 7 Series, 740i, something like that. It's like, it's nice and fancy enough and good enough, but not like driving a Rolls Royce. And let's not forget that BMW owns Rolls Royce. <laughs> like people don't know these things, right? Uh, but I gotta let them know. Um, and yes, yeah, so my personal thought, Bay Area guys, etc. Uh, oh, sh a shout out to my friend, uh, Steadman Halliday. Sodi, Bay Area, I think about uh, wellness. Yeah, so I think uh, the big problem is everyone I know in the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, Tag, my friends, that it, everyone's health is very, very poor. And the big problem with people in Silicon Valley is that They think of the human body as an afterthought rather than the most critical thing. And so my practical thought is the best way to be more innovative, productive, whatever, is actually focusing on your physiology. So how does one focus on the physiology? Very simple guys, once again, go in the direct sun, no sunglasses, no hat, no sunblock. Uh, Yeah, maybe better than putting on sunblock is uh, just like, if you don't want your face to burn or whatever, just put on like a really long and big hat. Like one of those like Vietnamese rice cone hats or the Mexican ones. Uh, and also just really, really long sleeves cover up. Uh, <laughs> another thought too is, what is the best car? White Toyota Prius. Just gonna use one, the 2010 model. Also, maybe one of the things that, yeah, and just keep your car parked. Don't, don't, don't drive. Just walk everywhere. Like, I thought too is like, I've been going to the park. I've been going to the gym, and sooner or later, eventually, I always kind of get stuck in traffic. And then, like, even 20 minutes in traffic is 20 minutes I could be spending walking in the direct sun, um, bipedding. Blogging, vlogging, thinking. Yeah, being in a, being in a car is uh, is dangerous. Um, yeah, even if you have a convertible, which is good, you get maximum light exposure. Is not good because you still gotta be sitting. I have, I have a theory that actually, the more time you spend sitting, I don't like to use the word sedentary because people don't really know what that means. Uh, to sit, like sitting in a car or sitting in a plane, it's really like bad for your physiology. It just like kind of shuts down your body. It's like, like the days where I'm driving a lot, I get so effing tired. It is not because driving is arduous. Maybe my theory is actually just sitting on your butt, spending more time sitting on your butt. It's just like, puts you to sleep. And ironically, walking beyond the direct light gives you more energy. So, 
simple thought to just have a bunch of coffee and then the second you wake up, one well. Uh, also some other life optimization thoughts. Better to rent in an extremely desirable area and just have a maximum pedestrian friendly lifestyle than to uh, spend your time a little bit okay-ish area, maybe own a house and uh, not be able to walk. So this maximum uh, pedestrian lifestyle seems like it's a, it's a good one. Um, yeah, let's do it, baby. 50 miles a day. 